Thank you for joining me again for another Fire Stick video. In this video, I'm going to show you all about this excellent app that I think you really should be using. And I'm gonna show you why you should be using this app. This app gives us an entire fully loaded streaming TV, on-demand movies, and even a live TV electronic program guide section like you see on my screen right now. One of the main benefits of using this app is that this is a major streaming app. It has a lot of development and money put into this app. So you're basically gonna get a lot of excellent content for no cost at all. There's even an audio boost trick or hack that I'm gonna show you so that the audio, the dialogue is actually more clear than the rest of the audio. And that feature is only available in this app. So I'm gonna show you that now. And I'm gonna show you the related feature that is in the Fire Stick settings area to boost dialogue as well. To access this app, just hold down the Alexa voice button on the Fire TV remote and say, free V. Okay, let's do a quick rundown of the user interface for this app. In the main menu, you can see that we have a standard search area. At the end of this video, I'm gonna show you an even better way to search, but for now you can use this search area. In addition to that, we have the home area that just shows you the best content that's playing. That's pretty straightforward. And then we have the live area. So this is gonna give you the electronic program guide or EPG, and this is gonna give you that live TV feel. So this is one of my favorite features of this app because you can just switch on something that's playing right now. In addition to that, we have the movies area. So this is the on-demand section of the app. This is gonna give you all of the on-demand movies available for this app. Okay, moving on, we have the TV area that just gives you a listing of all of the TV series that you can watch. So these are the pre-recorded shows. So have a look in here. And then we have my list. So here we have a saved list area. So when you're browsing through the movies and TV shows, you could select a movie or show and then click that button that says plus my list and it says added to my list. And now we go back to my list and there is the movie that I added. Cool. Other than that, we have the settings area of this app, parental controls, playing preferences to autoplay previews. So there's not much in the settings area, but what the important thing is, is the audio boost feature. So let's go switch on the audio boost feature right now. Okay, let's go change this audio boost hack feature that is in this app that I really love very much. So let's just go play a movie or TV show, any movie or TV show, select a movie, and then just press play movie. And then if you look on the right hand side of the screen, you should see that little, you should see that little icon that is selected right now. And while the actual show or movie is playing, what you wanna do is move the cursor over to this icon over here and select that icon and then you should see the subtitles options as well as the audio options. And if you look here, there's English Dialogue Boost Medium and English Dialogue Boost High. So what we want to do is select English Dialogue Boost High and then let it reload the stream. And then your dialogue is boosted in this entire app and it really works. It's an excellent feature. So now that we boosted the dialogue in that app, let's go boost the overall dialogue on your Fire TV device. So go ahead and hold down the home button on the Fire TV remote until you see this screen here and then just press settings. And then from settings, go to display and sounds, then just go to audio. Now select advanced audio and then select this option that says dialogue enhancer to turn that on. If you'd like, you can also turn on the volume leveler and then your audio should be more even and the dialogue should be enhanced as well. So if you turn this on here and you turn on the feature within the app here, then your dialogue really should be boosted quite a bit. Okay, one of the things that sets the free V app apart from other apps is the really clean user interface. It's intuitive, it's just easy to use. And one thing that I like is the display that pops up when we are watching a movie or a TV show. So if we're watching a movie or a TV show and then we press a button on the remote, it'll bring up this on-screen display. That'll show you the progress of the show or movie and it'll show you where the ad breaks are as well. So that's one benefit of using this app. In addition to the user interface is just the variety and quality of movies and TV shows that you can watch for free. 
So I really like that they have a lot of A-list movies in this app, a lot of classic movies. I really like that there's no sign up required for this app, no account required, no subscription, and we can customize the experience in this app by using the My List feature, which is just a watch list. So in that way, you could kind of personalize this app, make it feel like customized to your own personal taste. There are many pros of this app, but not many cons. I can only really think of one con about this app and it's that it has ads but it doesn't have a ton of ads. They're not really pesky. They don't really ruin your experience. And especially for the amount and quality of free content that you get in this app, I really think the ads are worth it, especially if you are on a budget like me. All right, last but not least, let's check out this Plex hack. Let's check out this Plex trick that I really like. So I'm not gonna show you the whole process to do this Plex trick, but I'm just gonna tell you how to do it. Basically, you download and install the Plex app, launch the app, and then go to the search feature within the Plex app, search for any movie or TV show, and then in the search results, it'll tell you which of your apps installed on your Fire TV carry that movie or TV show. So that's a really cool trick that I use sometimes. So I really highly recommend this app on a personal level. I use this app pretty much every day for streaming TV and movies. It's super reliable. Once again, it has movies, TV series, and even live TV. It's got that watch list, and it's got that audio dialogue boost feature that's unique to this app. So I recommend that you use this app in combination with a couple of other couple of other streaming apps like Tubi TV or the Roku channel app. Those are some other good solid apps. So let me know what your experience with this app has been. Let me know if it was good for you or uh, you know if this video helped. Just let me know if you have any questions, any issues, or if you have a recommendation on what video I should make next, then please just leave that in the comments. I will totally reply. So smash that like button, subscribe, and enjoy your Fire TV.